This is AJ with Driver Central, and today I'm going to overview the license portal and how to set up a Control 4 project with Driver Central. The first step is to go log into the site. I've already been logged in, but you would do that by clicking up here and then clicking on Sign In. And then this, you would go to License Portal, and then you would select Control 4 Drivers. This is the Con Driver Central Project Portal. Uh, from here, you will have a list of all the projects, uh, Control 4 projects specifically, that you have available. And as you can see here, we already have two. One's called Smith House. Uh, there's nothing in it. It's not connected to anything. And then we also have a Charles House. And also, there's nothing connected to that. If we wanted to create a new project, we would select Create Project, and we would select a new name. So we'll call this the Jones House. Okay, that project has now been created. It has not yet been connected to a Control 4 system, and that's what we're going to do next. The steps for integrating a Control 4 system into the Driver Central license portal is by taking this project token here, and I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to download the cloud driver. If you already have the cloud driver, you don't need to worry about downloading it. I don't have it, so I'm going to download it. It's going to download, and it went into my downloads folder, and I already have my, my documents slash control 4 slash drivers folder open, so I'm going to take that file, and I'm going to drag it into the control 4 drivers directory. The next step is to launch Composer. Those are open. You are going to select Search, and you're going to type in Driver Central or Cloud, and you're going to see the Driver Central Cloud Driver. You're going to add this to the project. You can see it's loaded. Uh, the current version is 1009, and you're going to take that project token that you got right here, and you are going to paste it right here. When you hit Set, you'll notice it says Check in checking the server, check in success. All right, right now at this point, the the Control 4 system and the Driver Central uh, project portal are now linked up. If we refresh the navigators or refresh the page, we'll see under Jones. Oh look, there was already some stuff uh, connected to this project. You can see that at some point we had the Sanfi blind driver connected and the battery agent uh, in the project. They're not there anymore, um, but they were there uh, previously. Uh, you can see this is the current MAC address of the unit control. This is the last time it checked in. This is the IP address of the home, and this is the connect the activation status. If you wanted to move this controller um, or this project to a different controller, you would just select here, change controller, and now it's unread, it's unlinked, and that project is now available to reconnect. If we go back and we reset that. Now you can see it's now reconnected. Easy. The next item to go over in the Driver Central portal is notifications. Every project has a notification setting for it. If we click on it, we can pop it up. So right now, all the notifications about this project are going to come to admin at drivercentral.io. Uh, it's going to grab whatever user purchased the driver. That'll be the email notification of by default. If you wanted to change that to something like service, something of that nature, uh, you could do you could do that if you want to send it to your service department. Uh, probably just your purchasing department is fine. Uh, if you want to be notified about trial expires, when the driver is about 24 hours to being expired, the, this person will get an email for trial expiration. Fail to check in. If the cloud driver does not check into the server within 24 hours, there is a separate notification. This is great to see if, well, if the internet's still working at the house. Um, if you don't want that, you can just unselect it. If you do want it, uh, that's the default setting, just leave it, leave it checked. Project report. This is a special report of the whole project and all the drivers that are contained within it that Driver Central monitors. Uh, simply just put in an email address and hit send email and off it goes. If we want to register a license that has been purchased into this project, we're going to use this button here, register license. And you can see I've already bought a bunch of drivers already. I've got a Jewish calendar from Chowmein. I have an EVO Paradox driver. I have a Plex Home driver, I have some temp trackers, and some of that stuff. So in this case, I'm going to assign a battery agent. Uh, 
And as you can see now, we have a battery agent license assigned. Notice how it's blue. Uh, once the project checks in uh, with the with the uh, control force system, then uh, this license will disappear and it'll be absorbed into this driver. So let's do that now. Let's go here, let's drop this down, hit check drivers. And you're gonna see here, check in success, nothing happens. Nothing happens because those drivers are not installed at the job. So let's do that next. We install drivers very simply. You download the latest version by clicking download here, here, or here uh, for whatever driver you need to use. And then you install it into your drivers folder exactly where you installed the cloud driver. Once you're, once you're done there, you go back to the project, search up the driver. In this case, let's search up the battery agent. And we're going to add it in. As soon as that's in, you'll notice the driver automatically sees that it has a license and the cloud driver uh, licenses the driver and takes care of everything for you. You don't have to type in any licenses or any of that stuff. If we go back to the website and we refresh, you'll now see that the battery agent is now activated. That license is here and that is the driver version. If there was an update available, this force update checkbox would be here and we could then send this and now the next time that this driver checks in it will automatically update to the latest version on the website uh, this is great for uh, you know if, if somebody does an update to a driver you don't want to have to go out to all your customers homes just simply check these and within one hour all those homes will update automatically if you want to erase, remove a driver from a project, uh, let's say this customer isn't using this license, for example, you could hit unlink driver and license. This will automatically pull that license out of that project and it will invalidate the driver accordingly. So if we check in. And you'll see one's expired. I've already had this driver in this project and so the trial has already been expired for it. And if we refresh, it's still there and the trial is expired. If we reinstall the license again, and the license is reinstalled, and then we're going to check in. Check-ins happen automatically every hour. And it checked in. And there you go, it's now reconnected. And that is how you install a license and a driver in Driver Central and the Cloud Driver.